pretty welcome to the video. It's Friday, July 9th, and we're breaking down this massive 14 game slate that we have over on DraftKings today. It would be a full on 15 game over the Cubs and the Cardinals. So that'd be a different play at a different time today, but still have 28 teams total on the slate, so lots of options to talk about. I would say this is definitely a better hitting slate than it is for pitching because we have Jake Lodorizzi as the most expensive pitcher today at $10,000, so that's how you know things are a bit off. But still some decent pitching options to talk about. And if you find this video helpful in any way possible, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to follow me over on social media, you to find me in the handles in the bottom corner of your screen. And if you want to help support the channel over on Patreon, link is down below in the description for that. We get access to the entire data sheet here. Projections, optimizer, ownership projections, rankings, cheat sheets, data sheets, the Discord community. All that fun stuff, link is down below. And last but not least, this video is sponsored by Price Picks. I'm sure most of you know what it is by now, but if you don't already, it's Daily Fantasy Sports Simplified, and it's just you versus the projections for the most part. You don't have to compete against Sharks, 150 max entrance, and things like that. No salary cap restrictions. It's just you versus the props. You can use up to two to five players and win up to 10 extra money. So if you want to check it out, link down in the description below and use code CPEN for a free instant deposit that match up to $100 instantly. So it's free money, so why not check it out if you haven't already? A very fun site to play on. But I think that's it for the plugs for the most part. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video. And as per usual, we'll start with the pitchers and move on to the bats. And like I was mentioning earlier, Kind of a weird pitching slate, but I do think we have a few decent options here, but a couple of them might be a bit overpriced, but it's what we have to deal with today. We can, we can only work with what DraftKings gives us. But up top, we have Alex Cobb here, 9800 bucks, coming off a really good game versus the Baltimore Orioles, where he got into the eighth inning in that one, wasn't able to finish it, but still had a very good fantasy day, and it's a really good matchup here versus Seattle Mariners, who are one of those teams that we like to pick on quite a bit. Only a 4-5 and five team total against them. Slight favor here, 55% chance for a win, but his numbers on the season... Look pretty good if you look at the underlying numbers. The surface numbers aren't that pretty because before his last start, he was sitting at around 5 ERA. He's gotten that down to 4.6, but the XFIP, it's below 3 this year. It's in the low 3s over a 27% K rate, not giving up much power whatsoever with only a 98 ISO given up, a 60% ground ball rate, and only half a homer per 9. So those are actually some really, really good numbers. So I know he feels a bit overpriced at nearly $10,000, but relative to this slate, I think it makes a little bit of sense. I feel like he should still be cheaper. I'm not sure he should be more expensive than maybe like a Taiwan Walker or Charlie Morton, but then again, Jacob Ariz is at 10000 bucks, and his numbers aren't quite as good as Alex Cobb this season. So, I don't know, kind of a weird slate for pitching, but it is what it is. But versus rise this season, Seattle Mariners over a 26% K rate, 161 team ISO, well below 390 WRC+. Plus. I think Alex Cobb should be just fine in this matchup. Not sure he's going to get like close to 30 points once again, but I think he's still a safe bet for a pretty solid outing tonight. Then we have Charlie Morton, $9,600. He gets a good matchup versus Miami, also on the road in Miami, so it's definitely a boost for pitching in that park. Only a 3.5 implied team total against him. 7K prop is a slight favorite here. And I would say the Braves have a pretty tough matchup versus Zach Thompson. He's looked good in limited time so far this season. I actually almost put him on here, but kind of straight away against it because I don't really see a reason to pick on the Braves in this slate. But Morton's been solid this season, and he's had some games where he's been a bit hit or miss, but for the most part, 27.5% K rate, 3.4x fit, the lean to the ground balls, and only a 29% hard contact rate with less than a homer per nine. Plus, Miami has been pretty pedestrian versus right-handed pitching this season. Only a 134 team ISO over a 25% K rate, 90 WRC plus, 295 well, but kind of similar numbers to what the Seattle Mariners have versus right-handed pitching. So I know he feels a bit expensive at 9600 bucks, but I do think he's definitely a fine option there because of the matchup. And then dropping down to Taiwan Walker here, 9000 bucks. It's a pretty good uh, run prevention matchup here versus Pittsburgh. The problem is they don't really strike out too much, and they can kind of be a stingy offense to use pitchers against because of that low strikeout rate. Like on the season, they're only striking out 22% of the time to righties. Very low ISO at 125, though, which is kind of like the bright spot of using pitchers against Pittsburgh because they're probably not going to beat them up too much. They just don't typically strike out a ton. But an 82 WRC+, plus, 289 Woba. I mean, I think he should be just fine. Tywin Walker is my most favorite pitcher to roster. And the other reason I have him on here is just because of how kind of wacky the pitching slate is today. But only 3.1 implied team total against him. Pretty heavy favorite, 6.5 K prop. He's getting a bit lucky, though. His ERA is at 2.4, which is fantastic, but the X open Sierra is over a run higher, about, about a run and a half higher at 3.8 and 3.9. Has a decent 26% K rate, not really allowing ton of power whatsoever at 0.91 ISO, but that'll probably not my most favorite play here. I mean, you could go there in cash games just because it's Pittsburgh, but 9000 bucks does feel like a little bit expensive, and I feel like there's going to be more strikeout upside for guys like Alex Cobb and Charlie Morton tonight. And then we have a couple of cheap SP2 options here in Alec Manoa and Kenta Maeda. And those guys are out of order, so let me change that really quick. So we'll talk about Kenta Maeda first. 
700 bucks gets a really good matchup versus Detroit. And Maeda had his best start of the season last time out. Strikeout game of the season where he had 10 versus the Rose on his way to 37 fantasy points. Not sure we should exactly expect that. Again, his numbers have been pretty pedestrian this season, so a $7,000 price tag does make some sense. Last season, that strikeout rate was sitting at above 30%. That's definitely fallen off this season, but still a good matchup versus Detroit here. He's a very heavy favorite. I think the Twins are one of the best stacks in the slate versus Matt Manning tonight, so if he can get us that 4.1 bonus, that would definitely go a long way at $7,100, but 3.7 implied team total against him, pretty much 70% chance for a win, 5.5K prop. His numbers, again, like I said, Aren't that great, but that doesn't concern me too much because of the matchup versus Detroit because they're one of the worst offenses in baseball. Over 26% carry to righties this season. Only 154 team ISO, 91 WRC plus. So for only 7,100 bucks, I think Kenta Maeda is definitely one of the better SP2 options on this slate. Then we have Alec Manoa, $7,000. He just got done facing this race team and he absolutely blitzed them. He had around 30 some fantasy points in that game, absolutely destroyed them, had a lot of strikeouts. And he's looked pretty good so far this season in a short stint. His ERA is really good at 2.7, but kind of like Taiwan Walker, getting a bit lucky here with the XFIP being above 4, Sierra in the upper 3s here, but a really nice 29.1% K rate is allowing some power, which does concern me because Tampa Bay does have power versus right-handed pitching. Now, don't get me wrong, they will strike out quite a bit, but they do have some pop. As you can see, a 170 team ISO over a 10% walk rate, 103 WRC plus and a 315 WOBA. Only bright spot here is at 26.1% K rate. And it's definitely a park boost going to Tampa Bay, one of the more hitter-friendly parks in baseball. So Alec Manoa is probably like a risk-reward play here. But you could definitely play him in tournaments because I think the strikeout upside is there. But just know there is a little bit of a power risk here versus Tampa. And Manoa has struggled with power just a little bit so far this season in a 4.3 total. In a 4.3 implied team total against them. So if you're looking for the cash game SP2, I feel like as of right now, that would be my ADA. Then Mano would be your, like your tournament pivot there. That's just my lean as of right now in the morning of the slate. So things can change throughout the day. But kind of where I'm leaning as of right now. But with that being said, I think that'll be it for the pitching. So we'll move right over to the bats. And since the pitching isn't super strong on this site, that obviously means the bats have to be pretty good. So there's lots of offenses to talk about today. Lots of good stacks. So I am definitely looking forward to this one. And as per usual, we'll start with the catcher position. We'll shut up top with JT Rimuto, $3,800, who continues to be too cheap, in my opinion. And the Phillies are in a very good spot here on the road in Fenway. Definitely a hitter from the park here. And two pretty mediocre pitchers for the most part facing off. So I definitely think we could see some fireworks in this game. We have Garrett Richards versus Vince Velasquez. Velasquez is the guy that will flash him upside here and there. But when he's off his game, he's off and things can get ugly quick. So I'm definitely liking this game quite a bit. The over-under sitting at 11 right now, which is the highest on the entire slate. So... Oh, we definitely trying to attack offenses here. Definitely love the Phillies and the Red Sox, two of the best stacks in the entire slate. But Real Muto is just one of the best hitting catchers in baseball. Just seems a little bit too cheap here for where he hits in the order. Garrett Richards on a very imposing pitcher. Team total above five today. Good hitters park, and they're on the road. So you get those guaranteed nothing at bats like all the Phillies here. And Real Muto is definitely a good option in cash games today. Zach Collins, 3200 bucks. The White Sox are on the road in Camden Yards, one of the best hitting parks in baseball. You get the guarantee nothing at bats like I was just talking about with the Phillies when the team's on the road. And the team total above 5.6 here, and it's a park boost going to Camden Yards. So kind of a summer spot for the Phillies here. And Jorge Lopez, a very average, very average pitcher at his very best, pretty much below average pitcher, is, which is evident to the implied team total. And the White Sox are definitely a team that we can stack up today. Plenty of other good catchers you can talk about, but I do want to highlight the White Sox in here. So Zach Collins, why he's not the best hitting catcher out there. It's just a cheap piece of that White Sox offense, which should be in a really good spot today. Then Pedro Severino, 2100 bucks on the opposite side of this game. They're facing off versus Dallas Keuchel. And the Orioles have actually been pretty solid versus left-handed pitching this season. Not very good whatsoever versus righties, but versus lefties, they're a high-contact team. And Severino does have some pop versus left-handed pitching. Dallas Keuchel, not really that great of a pitcher. It can kind of be annoying with the ground ball rate, but not a very good park to pitch in. And the Orioles have a team total close to five today. So definitely think we can look to stack them up whether it be tournaments or cash games. Then dropping into first base, we have Jose Abreu, $6,000. Massive price point here, but like I was just mentioning, I like all the White Sox here today. He's got over 200 ice of the season. I'm not sure I'll be able to spend nearly $6,000 for him in cash games. It's just going to eat a lot of my salary up, but if you are playing tournaments and you are stacking up the White Sox, kind of hard to leave off Abreu in your lineups. Trey Mancini, $4,300. You could also put Ryan Mountcastle here. He should be betting cleanup for the Orioles, but both these guys have fine power numbers versus left-handed pitching. I do like that Orioles stack tonight. Then Gavin Sheets, 3700 bucks. If you can't afford Jose Abreu, they're probably just going to drop down here to Gavin Sheets. Just a cheap lefty here versus Jorge Lopez. And if you can get cheaper exposure to the White Sox tonight, I feel like that's probably a good thing to do. He's got a small sample size this season, so I won't even bring up his numbers, but they have been pretty good so far this season. 
Kike Hernandez, 4600 bucks. He's fine versus either lefties or righties. But the Red Sox are looking like one of the absolute best stacks on the slate. Now, they don't currently have the highest implied team total that belong to the Minnesota Twins versus Matt Manning. They're sitting at 5.78 as of right now, but they're right up there with them. And I love this game for fantasy purposes. You could just give me all the Phillies and Red Sox, and I'd be pretty happy with it. I know Kike's price is getting a bit up there. I missed when he was in the 3K range, but if you are stacking up the Red Sox, he should be the leadoff guy, and you can play him in the outfield as well. So I think he's an excellent option. Corey Polanco, 4400 bucks. I like all the twins here. I kind of already mentioned that. He's had some decent pop this season. And Matt Manning, he's a developing pitcher. He's going to be good down the road probably. But as of right now, he's probably not that ready. And the Detroit bullpen is not exactly the greatest thing out there. And there's a reason the twins have the highest implied team on the slate currently. So definitely a big fan of all the twins today. You can stack them up in any format. Now, Larry Garcia, 3700 bucks. I'm not a big fan of ever using Larry Garcia. The guy just has no power and his batting average is below 250 this season. But he's had a couple of decent games recently. And again, it's just mainly just stacking up the White Sox here. Plus, he's a switch hitter, so you get the lefty already matchup here versus Jorge Lopez. Dropping on a third base, we have Rafael Devers, 5700 bucks. Very hefty price tag here, but he crushes right-handed pitching. It's a hitter-friendly park. Vince Velasquez is a guy that will give him some power. Now, he has splashes of being good, so there's sometimes he's got that decent K-rate going, and he could mow down an offense, but I don't think that night is tonight. So, <laughs> do like Devers here. And the Philly bullpen, you don't really trust it too much here. So, do like Devers. He's one of the top options on the entire slate, just raw points-wise. Yo, Mankata, 5200 bucks. He's a guy that will get on base quite a bit. Doesn't have a ton of power so far this season, only at 118 for his ISO, but... Batting 275 with a near 400 OBP will walk quite a bit. And I like all the White Sox here on the road in Camden Yards. And Luis Arreyes, 3400 bucks, probably one of the best cash game options today. You could also play him in the outfield. But at third base today, if you just want to save some money, Arreyes should be leading off here for the Twins versus a righty. Highest team tool in the slate. I mean, it makes a lot of sense here. He's batting close to 300 this season. Obviously, a lot of power in his bat. But, I mean, if you can give me the leadoff hitter with the team with the highest implied team tool, with the highest implied team tool in the slate below 4K, Probably just going to plug him in in cash games, whether it be third base or the outfield. Then going down to shortstop, we have the T, 6300 bucks. Really good matchup here versus Cal Freeland. One of the worst pitchers in baseball. We'll give up a ton of power and homers versus right-handed bats. And the T's pretty much one of the best right-handed bats out there. Maybe we're just behind uh, Vladimir Guerrero, but I mean, he's right up there with him. He's been crushing it this season. 300 batting average, 438 Woba. ISO just below 400 with a 180 with a 182 WRC plus. So he's one of the best players in baseball and he gets a great matchup for selecting Kyle Freeland. So if you got the money for him, great. Don't think they're the top stack on the slate, but the righties do great out pretty well for me versus Kyle Freeland. Tim Anderson, 5,600 bucks. Also very expensive, but just kind of staying with that White Sox stack for the most part. Big batting average guy, but not a ton of power. And if you need to save some money at shortstop, we have Didi Gregorius, 300 bucks left and righty matchup here versus Garrett Richards. And just part of that Philly stack that I do like quite a bit tonight. And continuing on that, we have Bryce Harper here, 5000 bucks. I do not have G.D. Martinez or Nelson Cruz listed here just at the sake of their price points, but you could obviously throw them on if you are stacking the Twins or the Red Sox. But they're so expensive, I kind of slept them off because I don't really see the need to go that high today. But anyway, Bryce Harper, 5000 bucks, slept in a right matchup here versus Garrett Richards. He's got plenty of power versus righties, and I like this game a ton tonight. Tommy Pham, 4500 bucks, pretty reasonable price point, especially in a really good matchup versus Cal Freeland. Obviously, I'd prefer if this was in Coors Field, except for definitely a pitcher from the park in San Diego, but that did not matter last night. But some of the two best pitchers in baseball, you Darvish and Max Scherzer. Max Scherzer got blasted by a relief pitcher, and then you Darvish got killed early on. I, just, like, I don't understand what's going on with the pitching last night. You would have thought those guys are just some of the most rock-solid pitchers in baseball, so I don't know what happened there. But either way, I do think the righties do great out pretty well versus Kyle Freeland, a guy that will give up plenty of power versus them. Alex Verdugo, 300 bucks, probably one of the best cash game options on the entire slate. He is always fairly priced for a guy that bats above 275, has a little bit of pop in his bat, hits high in the order for one of the better offenses in baseball, one of the highest supply team tools on the slate here. So love Verdugo, probably a staple in cash games tonight. Brian Goodwin, 3900 bucks, should be betting cleanup for the White Sox here, left and ready matchup versus Jorge Lopez. And smaller sample size this season, around 100 at bats, but he's shown some decent pop this season with a 243 ISO. Another guy that you could probably just plug in for cash games. Just trying to get cheap exposure to teams with high implied team totals for guys that hit high in the order. So Verdugo and Goodwin look really good for me in cash games as of right now. Max Kepler, 3600 bucks, Kind of similar to Verdugo and Goodwin. Guys that hit in a decent spot in the order. A little bit too cheap here on a high implied team total. And, you know, great out pretty well in lefty and righty matchups here. Similar to Verdugo and Goodwin once again. But I'd probably lean towards Trevor Larnack in cash games just because he's below $3,000 and he hits higher in the order. But both guys are fine options here. Kepler has some more pop in his bat. Adiba Herrera, 3100 bucks. I kind of, kind of like similar to the last three guys. Lefty on righty matchup here. 
It's a good park for hitting. High implied team total hits, good in the order, and very, very cheap. So I feel like Herrera quite a bit. Austin Hayes, 2100 bucks. He's had some decent power versus left-handed pitching this season. And the Orioles stack, while I'm not sure I'd go there in cash games, they are fairly priced. High implied team total, and it's a hitter-friendly park. Trevor Larnack, 2800 bucks. Probably a guy you could go with in cash games. He's batting around 260 this season with a 170 ISO. Not super amazing numbers, but should be betting clean up here for the Twins tonight. Highest team total on the slate, and he's below $3,000. Definitely a guy that should be pretty popular tonight. Then Anthony Santander, $2,300. Dirt cheap here. He's gotten some pop in his bat versus left-handed pitching, and the Oro stack does great out pretty well for me tonight. So I do think they're all pretty interesting options at their price points, which if you want to double spend it for a pitcher today, I'd have no problem with that because, as you can see, we have tons of cheap options today that are in some really good spots, so it's not that hard to spend up for pitching. But with that being said, guys, I think that'll be it for the video. So I hope it was helpful, and if it was, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want access to some extra content, link is down below in the description for that. And last but not least, this video is sponsored by Price Picks. Go check it out if you want. It's Daily Fantasy Sports Simplified. No sharks, no optimizers, no things like that, no BS. It's just you versus the projections. And there's some pretty good ones to find on there that you can easily beat. So check it out if you want. Use code CPEN when you do. And you get an instant deposit match up to $100. So it's free money. Why not use it to your advantage? I think that'll be just about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the start to your weekend. And I'll see you guys in the next video.